changes are on the horizon that could keep our police officers safer in the line of duty. KSL's Learn Utah's Fraternal Order of Police and Prison Authorities are working to make it easier for patrol officers to find out if someone they've stopped is a convict on parole. The notification would come through a simple computer check. Right now, officers have to search multiple databases to find that information, which can take them a while and distract them while they do it. The new plan is in response to the murder of Utah County Sheriff Sergeant Corey Ride, who was shot and killed by a wanted parolee last month. Well, Dave, the KSL investigators have discovered another plan is in the works to improve how the state tracks ex-convicts, and there is no other plan like it anywhere else in the country. Well, tonight, Debbie Dejanovic gives us an exclusive look here at how agents now monitor Utah's parolees and how it's set to change. From door to door. What's going on? And house. Can I come in real quick? To house. What's up, man? Officers who keep Utah's convicted criminals in check. Hi, KSL. Allowed KSL investigators an inside look. We have to wear so many different hats doing this job. You know, making sure public safety is in place, making sure that we're trying to help help some of those people rehabilitate themselves. This is adult probation yeah, and parole, right. which keeps tabs on 13,000 criminals who are no longer behind bars. One fourth are parolees, some of who've committed very violent crimes, but they've been given a green light from judges or the parole board to finish out their sentences in our communities. Agent James Clegg watches over 63 offenders. I'm trying to get everything settled because since I've been out just like two days. Every single knock on a door invites potential risks to the agents. Oh, there he is. And the community. That person that got in trouble, they can resurface. They can uh, turn into a, a real nightmare. As agents look for violations, you may be relieved to learn most of the time they find none. Most of the time. We're looking for uh, essentially any other violations, uh, things like drug usage other things. They comb through kitchens and bathrooms. They have a no alcohol clause. And so, you know, we'll check fridge, we'll check cupboards, check freezer. And on this day, this offender's not so lucky. Since there is that stuff in, we're going to do a little bit more in-depth search. A baseball bat by the door leads to more searching. That one's empty. And they find an old drug kit. With some syringes, some a spoon. Some knives, prescription drugs, and it's not looking good. So what we try and do is sort out What's going on? Now Clegg must decide, does he put this probationer back behind bars or work with her so she can stay in the community? For decades, agents have used their discretion, but some say that's allowed offenders too many chances. But I've learned that discretion is about to become a much more formalized process. They're developing something called a computer matrix, and it's never been tried before. Think of it as a report card that grades how well an offender is doing. Do they have a job? Are they living where they say they live? Have they committed more crimes? It'll help an agent decide when it's time to put somebody back behind bars. We want to protect public safety, and that's first and foremost in every law enforcement agency, of course. Steve Gerke is the spokesperson for the Utah Department of Corrections. He says in the past three years, 2,400 warrants have been issued to send parolees back to prison. It's uncertain if that number will go up or down under a new matrix system. It kind of has to work in concert with the discretion of that agent as well, because we can't just draw a hard, fast line. There's specifics, there's context that goes into every single case and every single individual offender. And then if she's telling us the truth, then we can do an alternative. Back on the streets, line. agents won't put this probationer back behind bars because it turns out they didn't find any drugs in her system. Some of this stuff belonged to her roommate. They're going to continue to work with her. And with that, Agent Clegg is on to his next visit. How's it going? Can I step in? Debbie Dujanovic, KSL 5 News. Debbie, thank you. APMP has been working on the new matrix for several months now and believe it'll be several more months before they can actually put it to the test.